Hello and welcome, my name is Charlotte and I am the High Heel Stitcher. This is a channel about cross stitch and occasionally you may see some shoes. If you are new to my channel then thank you so much for tuning in today. If you are returning then thank you very much for coming back. I appreciate each and every one of my viewers for spending a little bit of time with me. So, we'll start with the life update and then we'll get into it. So, not a lot has happened with me. We've had, um, so I did a whip parade a couple of weeks ago, but this is a like just a normal floss tube update. So, it'll be showing you things that I've stitched on since my last update, which was back in December. So, what has happened since I saw you last? Well, we've had Christmas, New Year's, we had January, which is always obviously a really busy time for me with work, tax return season, and February we had the cross stitch retreat, which I'll go on to a little bit later, and that so yeah we've not had a huge i've not really been up to much we the i think the most exciting thing that's happening is i get married in seven weeks so i'm super excited about that and it's just planning and getting all of that sorted i am currently in talks with my maid of honor which is uh natalie who, uh, about my Hindu. So hopefully we'll be talking about that tonight because we're having a stitching meetup this evening with the summer of the inner circle. So yeah, that's, that's basically about it. It's mostly just wedding stuff. Mm, uh, I went with my friend on Saturday to Macro and got the sweets because I'm having a sweet table and yeah that's mostly it I've got a dress fitting next week so hopefully that goes well I do need to lose a little bit of weight to be able to fit in the dress but we shall wait and see. It's going good so far. It's only been a couple of weeks, but I've lost four pounds. So yes, we'll shall wait and see what happens, but it should be it should be good. So that's that's the life update. Each time I do a video, it will be there will be a countdown. So at the moment, seven weeks. Seven. Right, stitching. Should we get into the stitching? We will start with new starts, finishes, and works in progress, or and then anything else. So, I have had two new starts since December. The first one was started on the 26th of December. I wanted to start this Christmas day, but Christmas day was just a bit too busy. So um, this is the um, current KLT charting mystery stitch along, which is snowmen. I've act this is actually a finish as well, but part six hasn't been released yet. Part six is being released next week. So I can't show you the fully finish, but I can show you where we are at with the current releases. So there we are. This is a six part stitch along. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and then six is obviously 
hidden because it's not yet been released. So this is stitched on 18 count Ada in the colourway Mistletoe Wreath by KLT Charting. And it is stitched between it's stitched with a mixture of DMC and KLT charting threads. So this is mostly all DMC, but these two threads in here, the yellow is Bring Me Sunshine, and the variegated blue and purple is Dragon's Egg. Next one is stitched with DMC Etoile. It does sparkle, you just can't see it. Again, this one is stitched with KLT charting, rum and raisin, and going fishing, I believe that one is. This one is DMC a twelve. Again, oh, you can see a bit of sparkle. And then the one down here is stitched with so the pink in the hat is county charting lust which was a limited edition the purple in the scarf is melchior which was a limited edition in the advent but has since been added part of the permanent range and then the blue is an etoile so it does sparkle. So when I come back, um, hopefully in, an, in a couple of weeks, I will show you that finished. You will see the whole thing. So I really did enjoy stitching this. And it took me 79 days to stitch that because I have the Stitch Pal app on my phone and I put in each day um, stitching on it because it's also on Pattern Keeper so I was able to it told me my stats and I stitched that in 79 days the next new start is a new start and finish so it's a SAF start and finish this one was started Oh, uh, yeah, this one was started on the 19th of February at the Southampton Cross Stitch Retreat and it was finished the next day, so on the 20th of February. And it is Drink and Stitch by Keen Stitch on Etsy. And this is it. I drink and I stitch things. This is stitched on a 18 count Sparkly Ada in... Uh, the colourway Rum and Raisin by Kelty Charting. So there we go. Um, originally, the chart had um, wine bottles and corkscrew, corkscrew down here, but I'm not a wine drinker. I drink uh, cocktails. My favourite is the Porn Star Martini. Uh, so that's I, this thread is a Kelty Charting. Um, it was an advent exclusive called Buttered Carrots and I thought it just looked like the Porn Star Martini colour so that's why I picked that. This was um, a little competition between a few of us at the retreat to see who could stitch it the fastest and normally I'm not the fastest but I, I did stitch, I completed this first but I wouldn't have if Jen didn't have to keep popping out and if HJ wasn't on a linen, they would have smashed me. But yes, we are um, each completing this, I think, as a canvas bag. But yes, as you can see, I have yet to fully finish. I do have one more finish that I can show you. This was a finish before in my previous floss tube, but I couldn't show you because not all parts had been released. Now all parts have been released. I can show you this as a fully, well, no, it's not fully finished, but it is finished. 
it is the KLT Charting Maple Leaf Sal. I can't see, so I hope you can see that. This is stitched on just an 18 count plate white, plain white Ada. Most of it is DMC, either uh, variations or colorists. But this one, the top one, I really hope you can see what I'm pointing at. So number one and number eight, that one, are KLT charting hand dyed threads. This one is rum and raisin. And this one is... See, I had a mind blank in the last, in my whip parade, because I couldn't remember one of the threads. And it took me a couple of days and I had to go onto Kim's website. Mandarin Magic. This one is Mandarin Magic. So, uh, yes. Thankfully, the lovely Nick in my whip parade said, was it this? And it was uh, Smoky Rose. That's the one that I just could not remember, Smoky Rose. So, yes. I need to get some frames and fully finish that. I was thinking about turning it into a cushion, but the hand dyed threads aren't colour fast. So she does say that on... Uh, so then, let's see, not colour fast. So I could turn it into a cushion, but I don't know how it would hold up um, if I had to wash it. So we'll just wait and see. Oh, we'll probably get turned. Oh, I'll just frame it. So they were my new starts and my finishes. Let's move into what I've been working on. So. In no particular order, I'm just going to go, this is what I'm working on. So, uh, we'll go with this one first, because it's the one that I've been working on the most. And it is the Wildlife Stocking by Cooler Design Studio. So, I have moved this um, in the frame since... I last saw you. Actually, I, I think I took it out of the frame for the whip parade. So, this is where we are at. I should now. Oh, let's see. You can't see. You can't see. bear with I should have been more prepared I got them all down and went yeah I don't need to take them out of the frame there's no point in that there we go so that is where I currently am you've got most of the bear it's adorable scarf little baby bear it's hat and you've now got the wolf appearing down here. I'm hoping that this is the last time I need to move the Q-snap because I'm a lazy person and I don't like taking things out of the Q-snap. It takes minutes. I know it takes minutes, but those minutes I could be stitching. So, there we go, back in. See, it doesn't take a long time. That is that. I am currently using this mostly for semi stained stitches, the wonders of the world. I think there's a few. I haven't even got the first one, which is, I don't even know, but each wonder is 5,000 stitches and I think I'm only at like 2,000 on this one, so I need to pull my finger out, but I've been mostly concentrating on the snowmen. 
Um, so yeah, that was that one. And then the one next we will go with. Oh, so going back. This year, 2022, I am doing my own rotation using um, the Random Decisions app. So I have assigned a target for each of my product or oh, products, projects, for each of my projects. So each time it gets spun on the wheel, I will have to do that target before moving on. The first spin was the wildlife stocking. And that was to get it to, originally it was 75% and I was at 50%. So that was, it's 25%, which is just under 10,000 stitches. And if I was working on this solely, I could potentially get it done in a month, just over a month. But where I had other projects on the go, I did 10% and I went, that's quite, I've done quite a chunk. I think I feel like I'm getting a bit burnt out. I need to work on something else. So I decided I changed that. So spin one, do 10%. Where if, when it gets spun again, I will do 15%, which puts me to the 75%. Then... I will do, if it gets spun a third time, that's another 10% to get me to 85%. And then the last spin, if it gets spun a fourth time, that will give it a finish. So, spin one was the wildlife stocking. Did that, got it to the 60%. So I was able to spin again. On my sp second spin, pandemic came out now I haven't stitched on this in about a year so my target for this was to get 5,000 stitches now I started it in this bottom in the bottom left I started it um, I had just about a thousand stitches done when I pulled this out and this is where we are at to now. So I stitched um, a little bit of this on the retreat. And I think I've done 1,500 stitches. So I still need to do three and a half thousand to get my target done before I can spin it again. <laughs> I got this awesome donut needle minder from Nat for Christmas because I have a donut project bag that I love because I love donuts. So she got me that to match because I think this one was living in the donut bag. But I don't know where the donut bag is because I'm actively stitching on this. This is stitched on 18 count Ada in the colourway Blood Moon by KLT Charting and this is just DMC 704. I will be doing the whole thing in just this one colour and I've ordered 40 skeins of it so that should hopefully be enough. Um, so while I have the odd half an hour up in my craft room um, like on lunch or just like on a webinar um I will pull out this which is the mason jar lineup it is a dimensions kit so this one gets the odd half an hour 45 minutes when I'm up in the stitchy room this is still current. This is on my lap frame, my R and R lap frame. So I'm gonna poke myself in the head, and that's where we are on that. So I've now finished the flowers, and I've started down on the jars. This is on my spinner, 
so when this gets cooled um, spin one uh, will be to finish jars one and two um, then it will do yeah one and two two and three three four and five no one and two three and four five six seven and then seven eight and nine so if it gets spun four times that's how it will be so when i get stitching on it i can get quite a nice chunk done but it's not on pattern keeper it is a paper chat paper oh my god paper pattern it's because i'm russian it's color paper pattern it's not on pattern keeper so i don't know how many stitches i've done all i know is that it's the odd little bit here and there and that is stitched on 16 count white ada with the kit threads um so that's when i have the odd um like lunch break here at home when i am at the office i try to do a bit of stitching during my lunch break and i am currently working on this time to celebrate birthday card it is from I don't know what magazine oh the world of cross stitching it's from the world of cross stitching this was given to me by jen not cross jen and this is where we are at to at the moment started on the balloon i'm trying to get all the green done and the banner first so. once this is done it will be um donated to we will sell it on um, our, one of our charity stores to make money for meningitis now. So, that the only other thing that I believe that I have stitched on, um, which is a nice block colour, and that is Giraffes at Sunset. And I took this to the retreat with me. I think it would be nice and easy to stitch. And this is where we are on that. So as you can see, I've managed to go all the way down to the bottom and I've started on the tree. So I love the sunsets. I might take this one with me tonight for a meetup because it's just it's nice chunky blocky colours that is just stitched on 18 count white ada with the called for colours so um that's all that i have been working on plans going forward is to um work on pandemic until those 5,000 stitches are completed and then when I spin again to work on that next project whatever it may be my plan is to that I set it for non recurring first of all so I know that I will work on every one of my projects before um, moving on so each one of my projects will get worked on this year because last year i didn't work on four or five of them probably even more than that but i want to stitch on all of them this year so moving on to haul um there is quite a bit and i know not everyone likes this so if you are tuning off um now thank you so much for watching if you are staying for the haul it is quite a lot so um, we'll start with what I got for Christmas from Daryl. So I just I got some 28 count easy grid. This is um, for 
my Egyptian projects. So. Because oh, that's what the next one's for. So, there we go. These projects, this piece of fabric is big enough to do six of these. Now, I only have five charts, so I'll have some left over. So, we've got Cleopatra. All of these are by Artisy, and they're all about 300 by 300. Nefertari. Nefertiti. Ramesses the second. And Tutankhamun. So, they, I need to chop it up and then they will be used for those. Then my next, see, Daryl's really good with surprises, so he'll come in with little things. But he doesn't do online shopping, which can be a bit of a pain, but it's not a problem. So whenever I want something, like fabric and that, he'll just give me his card and go, there you go. So, I know that I'm going to get something that I always like, that I always wanted. And then he goes out with his brother and gets something else, so. Which is always a surprise. I always get a surprise for Christmas or my birthday. And I always get things that I know that I want. So, I got this. And I also picked some Ada up. And this is for this project, which was Mr. Grinch by the Cross Stitch Studio. This was a limited edition. This is no longer available. I wasn't going to get it, but the lovely Carol stitched it in no word of a lie about three days and I saw it at the retreat I saw the finish when we went to the retreat and it was amazing so when because I think it was only being released in November or December for like two weeks and I wasn't gonna get it then she stitched it up really quickly and I went no I'm gonna get that so I've brought this fabric for because I couldn't decide which fabric I wanted to stitch on so uh, and I still don't fully know so we've got this just sparkly plain white sparkly and we've got this like marble effect then we've got a sand marble effect and then I don't know what one this is. I think this is just silver grey, so it's an off-white colour. Yeah, I, I'm not fully sure which one I want to do it on, but it's it's definitely down between these two. The white sparkly and the marble, the normal marble. So, and then the others will just go in my stash to work on something else. So, uh, that was the stitchy stuff I got for Christmas. Then we got. Oh, I have signed up for um, the um, Year in the Woods by Cottage Garden Samplings. Now you've probably seen these everywhere. I haven't yet started. So, um, number four is due soon. So, the first one was the fox. Then you've got the swans, and then you've got the jackrabbit. Now this recommends either doing three, four lots of three on four different fabrics, or you can just go for one fabric, which is the Vintage Country Mocha. Now, my usual places that I buy from, Florichelle, Wool Warehouse, didn't do the 32 count 
Murano in the recommended all over fabric, which is the Vintage Country Mocha. I think I might have just said that. The Vintage Country Mocha. So I was like, oh, I'll just dye some for myself. And I thought, no. Nah, As I said before, I'm lazy. I can't, I can't be asked to do that. And I thought, well, I love green. I saw this on... I don't know where I got this one from. Flourish out eBay, I think. And it was just some sage green. Let's just count where I know. And I thought, you know what, They're, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Not realising that they, those trees will probably get lost on there. I thought, oh, okay, fine. So then I was contemplating buying it from America, but then those you've all got some the import fees and all of that. So I was just having a look. I don't know what I was looking for. I think I went on Amazon for something. And I typed in 32 count even weave or something like that to see if they did any big pieces. And 32 count Morano in Vintage Country Mocha came up in the size that I needed. I was like, oh, and it said sold by Stitchtastic, and I've never heard of them before. So I googled Stitchtastic, and this website came up, and it was amazing. So, if you're looking for 32 count vintage country mocker in the UK at different sizes, so this is 40 by 27 inches, I got it from Stitchtastic. And it was a pretty good price. So I got this and I was like, yes! Now I can start it. I have no plans on starting it because I'm doing no new starts. 22 and 22. But I have it ready for when I start it. And although it's not a char, it's fabric. I'm still going with the premises that nothing can travel alone. So I was looking at other fabric on the website and I came across this. And it's vintage teal marble. And again, 32 count Morano. And look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. I was like, yeah, sold. It's a bit more blue in real life. But I was like, yes. No idea what I'm going to stitch on that. But I loved it and I wanted it. So now I have three big pieces of 32 count Morano. I just need to go in my sash. So. Next we have the High Heel Collections 3 by Soda Stitch. Now I need number one and number two. But number one and number two are out of print, so I need to try and find them on the second hand market. So that's what number one and number two look like so I need to find them without paying an arm and a leg preferably so we shall wait and see if anything pops up on that and I got these this from Sparklies I did also get some fabric from Sparklies that I ordered back in November but I didn't bring that down Next, chunky KOT charting. So this is my fabric from July twenty one. So um, my normal threads. Um, oh, and it's also um, the retreat fabric. So. Uh, I'll show you July's first of all, and then I will move on to what we've got. So July's fabric. Okay. 
and I'm just going to leave that for the moment because there's a fabric in there that I don't think is mine. Potential. So anyway, moving on. So, Sahara Sunset. It's more orange and pink. This is 32 count, I believe. The 18 count edit. And the threads. There we go, you can see the orange there. Next we have the retreat. So we went to Southampton Retreat on the 19th, I think it was probably even before that, of February and Kim did some exclusive fabrics for it and the theme for the retreat was some of your favourite things. Now obviously there's a song um, and you've got whiskers on kittens. This is 32 count Barano. Eighteen count Ada. Um, then warm woolen, warm woolen mittens. Thirty-two count. Yeah, there we go. Look how amazing that is. Eighteen count Ada. And then we've got the threads. Kim brought her shop with her when she came. So I picked up a couple more fabrics. First one is 32 count sparkly even with Princess of Stockport. Thirty two count blood moon. And thirty two count Sahara Sunset. Again, sparkly. No, I no, I brought this. I brought this one at the retreat. Um, and it is twenty eight count resolution. Now I can't remember why I brought twenty eight count because I don't normally do twenty eight count. I definitely no it's beautiful that is beautiful I obviously had a plan of what I wanted to stitch this on or stitch on this but alcohol had been consumed by this point so I don't know if I can remember. It will go in my stash and in about six years time I'll pull it out and go, oh I wanted to stitch that on it. But at the moment I can't remember. Honestly cannot remember. I think it had something to do with... What was it? Zarina. Zarina from Hawkins Hobby, these. Okay. Oh, I haven't got those kits down. Oh, they're upstairs. Oh. I've got to put this all away now, otherwise I'm not going to put it away later. I'll just leave it for Daryl to come back to a mess. Um. Yeah, Zarina came and I brought a couple of Mirabilia charts from her. And we were just chatting and I said, oh, I'll probably get some hand dyed for that. And she said, okay, that's fine. I was like, I'd get 32. And she said that you need to be aware because the hand dyeing process shrinks the fabric Although you think it's a 32, it may be like a 33 or a 34 count, and the beads may not fit or sit correctly. I'm 
think that's what she said. So I thought, oh, I'll go for a 28 count. Because then it's more of a 30 count. And the beetle fit? Maybe that, that, maybe that was my logic. Again, alcohol had been consumed. So... That may be wrong. Either way, I have a piece of 28 count now that I've purchased. That I don't know what. I'm not going to go and get these kits because they're upstairs. And I completely forgot them. So I will show them next time. But the last thing I do want to show you is I bought my first gecko rouge kit now i saw this chart on i think their facebook page oh it's, oh my god i love it that was it gecko rouge don't do charts they just do kits as far as i'm aware. and i saw this kit and i was like oh my god i want it but it was a Gecko Gold Club exclusive, which means you need to be part of the Gold Club, which is where you transfer, you pay ten pound a month, and then after six months, you get a sixty pound voucher to spend on the website. You also get like a ten percent discount code and all that sort of thing. Oh, perfect. So I signed up to that. I think in August. So January was my last month before I got my voucher so in February I got my first voucher and within 20 minutes of that voucher hitting my email I was I'd checked out this kit that I wanted and it is this it's called Sacred King it's by Pixie Cold look at that I'm not too fussed about the butterflies but I just saw this, the dark of the fur and the dark of the mane. This just screams scar from the Lion King. Admittedly, he doesn't have a scar above his eye. But I was like, I need that. I need that. So it is a full kit. Um, I do have, I opted for the PDF chart, I think, and the hard copy chart, maybe. Um yes and i got the matching needle minder so. yes so i then was going to cancel the club because i got the kit i wanted but she's just released a couple of egyptian themed ones which again um i think one is a gecko club exclusive so i need to stay in the stay in the club so, I think that is everything apart from the kits that I completely forgot to bring down from my haul but I will show you them next time I think that is me done i have been reading a couple of books um and listening to some on like borrow box and audible the one that i'm currently listening to on audible is sharps tiger because i do like the sharp series so i'm restarting those and borrow box i've been listening to the raven cycle normally i don't really like psychic stuff but it's not a huge psychic in your face so I'm quite enjoying that I'm on the final book which is The Raven King it's supposed to be like teen fiction but I'm enjoying it and then I'm also uh, the hard book that I'm reading that I've been reading for months because it's just so slow going is The City by Stella Gemmel it was slow to begin with took about, uh, about three because I think there's like 800 pages took about 300 pages to get into it it then got exciting for about 100 and then it's just it's so slow going again 
but I've now reading a chapter a day and I've got about eight chapters left so I should be finished in about a week so I do not recommend that book but I do recommend the sharp and the raven cycle books so 45 minutes of me waffling I hope if you have stayed this long thank you so much for watching I have really appreciated I am hoping to come back maybe in about two three weeks with an update I should have finished the 500 stitches on the 5,000 stitches on pandemic and spun for my next one so we shall see what that one is I hope you have enjoyed what you have seen please like and comment and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and i will hopefully see you again in a couple of weeks bye guys